for us. Uh -huh. And Amy is the shelter manager and for Amy's us. Amy's, Amy's Amy with, at the town office? Yeah, at okay. the town office. And she's gonna she's taking that role. Uh, Mary, um, I call her Pastor Mary because she was a pastor. Um, she was doing the secretary, but she had to resign that because she's working during that time period. Mm -hmm. She was doing paraeducator for uh -huh. Braintree. Oh, maybe. Um, who was it? I think, uh, Mary. Well, Mary. Um, but she's resigned. Mary, who? I'm trying to remember her last name. Yeah, okay. I don't know the paras out there. You probably set her email up for her. <laughs> probably. Well, that's why Mary's not quite enough. <laughs> yeah. Let's see oh, if Mary. Up. Oh, yeah, Mary. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> McMillan. Uh, <laughs> she she was a one minute Little show. <laughs> she was a one minute show. I mean, she started, yeah. I think, the first day of school, and she's done now. So yeah, she was yeah. the second in the, in yeah. the life of the. Yeah, know that actually. And I think was, um, that sounds only, familiar. Yeah, no, very much. And she's very. I don't know. I can't picture her. Yeah. I know the voice she, is I, very. I know she is. I know she was working there and is no longer. So. Yeah, but. She was doing that. Yeah, we were just talking about the, the power outage, the March mm -hmm. 2023 power outages. Um, we're going to be down in um, White River Junction on the 6th for a meeting with other senior mm -hmm. um, centers. Okay. So yeah. that ought to be interesting. Yeah. And just, just looking at it, you know, knowing that the line is allegedly under us, that's going to go out black if they do a major power outage because of the big power line thingies. Mm -hmm. um, but who knows if we'll get affected by that. Under that, us being south of us? South of us, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Um, but where do those lines go? Right. Just because they're south doesn't mean doesn't, they all flow south. It's right. not like water. Right. They may all go this right. way. And like Barry, I think Barry and another town above us are the distribution centers mm -hmm. for goods. You know, during mm -hmm. this, this I hope ice storm. A pie in Barry. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> well, that was written in March, so <laughs> they weren't thinking about floods. <laughs> um, so, anyways, it, it's you know the the responsibility of of our town is minimal. Um, you know, it's going to be, but we're going to have people that are banging on our our door, mm -hmm. saying, "Hey, can you help us out?" So, you know. During the during the floods, I didn't do any volunteering per se here, um, except for the emergency management aspect. I was I was volunteering in Barry because mm -hmm. that's where they needed help. Right. Yeah. Um, you know, nobody had big groups of people trying to dig up stuff here. Right. You know, yeah. For sure. Yeah. And, you know, you have mm -hmm. a tractor, so you went over mm -hmm. to Joe's house, and, right. and helped dig out. Kind yeah. of thing. There was no yeah. big mass of people. Right. So, well, I guess. Nobody else coming at this point. Scott might show up. I, I asked him if he could, but he's sitting with somebody right now. Um, somebody with some, some little issues or whatever um, to go over some concern, but those people aren't here that were concerned about. Yeah, there was the, the lady policing. in Brookfield that wanted to talk about transportation. Right. About if something happens, how are people going to get to the shelter? Right. Mm -hmm. so. Right. And yeah. that's 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 a good subject to talk mm -hmm. about. Um, so on on that, we'll cover. Like she well, let me back up to where I was. So Scott was going to come and try to answer any uh, concerns or whatnot about the aspect of you have somebody drunk on drugs, um, firearm, right on the premises. And my comment to that was, well, and I don't know if you've done this yet or had the okay to do it yet. Um, on the school grounds, it clearly states you can't have it. Mm -hmm. Right. And the mm -hmm. signs are up there. Yeah, yeah, the signs are up. You know, um, you, you can't be drinking, you can't be carrying guns, you right. can't be whatever. Yeah. So that sort of, not a, that a sign is going to stop somebody, but it's there. Right. So it's a, a hair 
of protection. Well, the intention is clear. Right. Yeah. You know? yeah. Right. There's, and, it's not a gray. Yeah, and people yeah. people that are drunk or stoned or uh, tripping, they're they're not the folks that are going to be showing up to a shelter. Right. They're going to be doing their own little thing in their own little house or wherever they yep. choose to do that. Yeah, that's right. That happen. Right. Um, so they're, not, they're probably not going to show up to a shelter. Somebody with a firearm um, that's distraught, that's that's a little iffy. And the, the fact is, you know, he has a, somebody working in a shelter. Why? This should be two people. Um, you know, we had vests. We had, I'm trying to get a hold of little cheap radios that, you know, if somebody's over here, somebody's checking in, somebody on the front. The idea is, you know, you're checking somebody up front, and they say, is Fred here? I can't tell you that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know? Right. And, you know, the minute that you get a little heebie-jeebie about something, you know, that's where the police come in. Involved. Right. Um, the Randolph Police Department, during an incident, is going to be fully operational. They're sure. not going to be going home. Yeah. So there's going to be yeah. somebody People around. Within, yeah. within the area. Scott has no problem with dispatching or coming himself to an incident in Brookfield. Right. Um, you know, he, he was clear with the town saying, I'm a police officer. If somebody needs help, I'm going to do what I can. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, that's, that's the bottom line. And that's, that's my understanding of his stance on anything like that. So, like, if somebody has a firearm, you could say, hey, you know, we, we don't allow that. It's posted on the door that that's not allowed. Can you go secure that in your car? Right. You know, you just treat them like a, yeah. a person, and, yeah, and you sure. know they're distraught already <clears throat> coming into right. it. Because oh, they they're, might, yeah. They're walking into a shelter because right. their house yeah. is, yeah. they can't be in it yeah. for whatever reason. Yeah. So, you know, compassion and all of that fun stuff it, uh, it takes, um, you know, the total toll of, of what needs to be done. I'm trying to think of all the things that we've covered since it's, now it's a, just a catch-up, sort of. Um, Volunteer duties of somebody is to be able to keep keep a situation calm um, and and relaxed, and that's something that you know that might have been the first meeting that we did. That is the first meeting, so I'm not even going to say that. So keeping things you know chilled out. Um, we talked about how to intake uh, guests, mm -hmm. people that need a shelter. Is we're going to have a small table at the mouth of any shelter situation at Brookfield School. It will be where the benches are mm -hmm. and the fish yeah, tank right is in sitting. The front yeah. Or yeah. In the front where the yeah. fish tank was. Yeah, it's uh, still, still there. <laughs> um, so, you know, having that there and then bringing them into the gymnasium or yeah. mm -hmm. multi purpose room. Mm -hmm. uh, VTC is, as you know, set up the same sort of style. You know, we, that you I'm not sure where. Would you go to shape? Or, or so shape is one of them, and Judd? the other is Judd. Judd, Judd. okay. Um, yeah. So Judd, so Judd you walk entry. in, and, sure. yeah. and it's, it's kind of an entryway. Yeah, it's an entryway, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. and that's where a table would sit, and then people would be inside. Right. Um, you don't want to give any information to media or anything of that nature, or yeah. you know, if I walk in and say, "Hey, is, right. is Joe here?" Right. Um, no, can, yeah. can we help you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, and the information, yeah. the forms that were given out, um, that we're probably going to use. You know, it's confidential. I gave Amy a, a metal uh, binder closing book, and I said, that, that's basically your little vault. Mm -hmm. You know, so you keep all the, you know, if I come in and, and I'm looking for help, I'm going to fill out the paper. You're going to put that in that book, that metal uh, right. uh, box, and <clears throat> you're going to take that wherever you go. Right. You know, you're going to have that on your hand. Whoever's in charge of that incident of mm -hmm. that time period right. is going to have that with yeah. them. And we don't give out any information to anybody. Sure. Um, obviously, if a state trooper or something shows up and says, I'm looking right. for Fred. Yeah. Um, is he here? Well, yeah. <laughs> you know, <laughs> give him yeah. up. Um, my, my goal is to hand it over to the Red Cross as, as soon as possible kind of thing and relieve, you know, the townspeople. Mm -hmm. And obviously, the townspeople are more than welcome to, to work with the Red Cross. You know, and, right. You know. Continue to help yeah. if to they help need if they need it, it. yeah, kind of thing because yeah. you, you just never know what's gonna right. what's gonna transpire. Um, having snacks, of water, um, coffee available, um, 
I have my goal is five to twenty people into On your a shelter list of, 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 of supplies. No, yeah, for or snacks, supplies water, coffee. For twenty people. For for up to twenty people. Yeah, I see. Um, yeah. Having the ability to cook enough for 20 people to eat pasta right. or stew yeah, or whatever yeah. on hand. Right. So if, if we opened up right now, um, you know, this, did you have dinner yet? Okay, mm -hmm. well, let's turn on the stove, <clears throat> cook right. some pasta and, yeah. and, you know, have something. Yeah. And yeah. then later on have a snack or whatever. Yeah. Um, and the Red Cross within a, a few hours should be there. Kind of thing yeah mm -hmm. you know they have yeah. more provisions mm -hmm. and then if we need more provisions then reach out to Rebecca at the food shelf mm -hmm. and have somebody grab up stuff Bob right. if we do the if we use the school building Bob said he'll get somebody to bring supplies up to that right. that building yeah and there are some supplies already there because mm -hmm. I was gonna say there's about cooking. weeks worth of, of foods of food yeah yeah um, so, so three kids. yeah trying to work with him and and get that I haven't talked to him for a while because I've been super busy and I'm sure he's he's <laughs> super busy. Um, so having snacks, coffee, and that stuff available for people. Checking in with the Red Cross and their ETA of, you know, so we've we've called them because we have too many people or we, we're at eight people and now we mm -hmm. feel we need to bring in the Red Cross because we think the incident's going to bring us the, the issues that we need to address right um, so doing that um, for uh, for setup for any cots or anything like that we're going to try to use the COVID um, method of a shelter mm -hmm. and that's you know the cots being set up a certain way which I have a diagram and, and all that stuff right um, and trying to encourage masks if if that's available right um, I do have a small handful in the totes that I've, I've accumulated uh, different items. Um, we're basically looking at the March 2023 20, tabletop exercise of ice storms, wiping out five to 20, 30 days mm -hmm. of uh, no power. Right. So, you know, the resources that we can muster up and bring in. Right. Kind of thing. Hey, how are you? <coughs> Good. What, uh, you mentioned totes. Where do those live? Those those are sitting right now in the cooperative um, oh. office space. Okay. Above, right, so they right would just be away. taken where they need to, to go. Right. They, and then as soon as, as soon as we get this really up and rolling, the uh, Amy's going to take possession of them. Oh, okay. And there's um, first aid kit. There's. Um, and one, one tote, there's a first aid kit, there's a um, stop the bleed kit, there's Narcan, um, and then clipboards for writing down the information for the intaking mm -hmm. of people. There's a can of, can of coffee and another one, coffee maker, um, sugar, non -dairy, the dairy powder right. stuff. And I'm slowly building that stuff up, trying to get people to donate. How stuff. about the cots and the like blankets and pillows? The, the and cots, like that's that. all through the Red Cross. Okay. Because if we're going to do an overnight yeah. shelter, the Red Cross can get them within a, a few hours. Oh, okay. Where's those. the Red Cross around here? Are they in Barry? There's trailers everywhere. Oh, okay. Um, but Barry, I believe. Yeah. Okay. Cool. And, um, you know, but you basically have to figure you're going to be on your own for 72 hours. Right. 42 to 70, 72 hours. Um, hopefully that's, that's Even without case. that? stuff even without cots yeah any of that anything out of a trail or anything like right. that okay yeah so but you know they say they can get it quicker but i found that um wayne had ordered up uh 50 cots and that took 18 hours mm -hmm. to bring over to vtc right um and i'm sort of i just found out that's his now his new location for at vtc at vtc yeah yeah um and that was never in their plan. But I guess I'll have to get with the town of Randolph and figure out what to what. Because we've had that in our plan forever. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, it goes back eons. But, you know, there's, there's, there's enough room to house multiple towns. And that's mm -hmm. what we're looking at anyways. We're not looking at just <clears throat> Brookfield. Right. We're looking at 
the tri yeah. mm -hmm. yeah. um, catering to our, our school kids, you know, and their parents. Right. Sure. That kind of thing. Um, let's see. That the information needs to flow through the through the group, and Amy set up that tree, and we're going to try to work more of um, how to communicate with each other. You know, during during an incident. Okay. Um, so that's pretty much what we've what you've missed. Okay. okay. Kind of right. thing. Mm -hmm. um, so. We did talk about what does somebody do about a pet coming in. Oh yeah. Mm. Oh right. Yeah. So so being <clears throat> at first at first you open up as an independent shelter, and then your goal is to turn it over. To the Red Cross. The Red Cross has the ability to do all that mm -hmm. for pets. Um, for a pet coming in, it's going to be a case by case kind of thing, and it's it's not fair by any stretch of the imagination. But if if you got a little lap dog that's going to stay in your lap, right, kind of thing, um, or you have it in a carrier, or you have it in a carrier, mm -hmm. yeah. and the folks that are are being sheltered right now are okay with that, right. Mm -hmm. But if you say, oh, geez, I'm gonna look, I can't get five feet yeah. close to a dog or I'll, I can't breathe. Well, right. you got to secure the dog in the car. Yeah. You know, yeah. Because we're looking at the mass sure. aspect yeah. of it. So it's going to be more of a case by case mm -hmm. situation yeah. with, with uh, pets. Mm -hmm. um, so that now I think I've caught up. <laughs> yeah. He was going over what was last meeting. Yeah, the last two, two meetings. Because you, you came to the second meeting? I missed the last one. You missed the last one. Yeah. Um, so, one thing, but we don't have enough people to really do it, is setting up a, a scheduling aspect. What looks good for you, kind of thing, for being in a shelter situation. So if you two could flip that piece of paper over, that's and, and just jot down, you know, what would work for you? Well, if we're in a state of emergency, are you going to be working in the school? At the time. At that time. Or are you going to... Depends going to on say, when take, the emergency is. Take, when, take midnight, the you know, I mean, right. if, you know... You know, but um, what, what sort of is a comfortable thing saying, I'm pretty darn sure. Now, the bottom line is, life happens. Things change. Right. And, you know, you can, you can put, oh, I can do 9 to 5. Right. Monday through Friday, not a problem. Well... Things change. Mm -hmm. Crisis happens in your own house. So you have to take care of yourself and your family right. first. I, exactly. I was going to say that. You know, yeah. So if you're kind in of crisis. Given that we're, you know, we're not in crisis. So. Right. If you're not in crisis and right. your boss says, oh, yeah, I don't, I don't care. Take the day off and, and right. go volunteer. Yeah. You know, so way cool. Right. You know, if, if your boss says, no, you got to be here. We got yeah. happening and, and yeah. it doesn't matter the power is out. We got power yeah. in our facility. Um, so what what might work for you kind of thing and looking at probably six hours would be oh, that's what I was a, enough kind of thing because <clears throat> it could be daunting kind of thing but we need two people right at at all times it can't be a one-man show right and what I've seen in the past for shelters around here is nothing's happening what do you mean nothing is happening. So you two are volunteering. We're yeah. in crisis right now. It's just you two sitting here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So yeah. oh, as far as there's not yeah. a lot Nobody of that. Yeah. 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 This, you might have somebody call up. You right. might have. Oh, are you open? Because yeah. I'm thinking yeah. about. Yeah. But they don't. They don't go. Randolph had a, had a couple of people one storm, and they opened up the fire department, and nobody showed up. Yeah. But they yeah. said on Facebook or whatever. Hey, yeah, we need some. And they mm -hmm. never showed up. Never, never show up. Yeah. You know. So this. There's that, but it's nice yep. to be ready, sure, just in case um, that yep. if somebody does need the help, kind of thing. Yep. Ah, let's see. Well, I have a question. Yes. This Facebook thing that rural Vermont. Not, <coughs> I work with seniors. Yeah. And I, I. They don't do Facebook. So I'm wondering, how are they going to even know that the that the that that the, you go to, to the fire department or you go to VTC. I'm concerned, even with the people that are members here, how do you let them know? Well, texting 
email. Um, or knocking on their door. Or, or and people or don't even kind of answer their telephone. Right. Um, so Brookfield so, is working on on a form, sistering with two one one, and duplicating that okay. and saying okay. So and using the community at large, saying okay, Rich, let's let's say I, I live downtown Brookfield. Mm -hmm. um, who do you know? that is on oxygen who do you know yes, that's right. blah, blah, blah. who do you know that's at risk you know some people within yeah. the three communities yeah so <clears throat> i would go to you and say let's say you're on oxygen hey listen yeah. the town's put this 211 thing out yeah and what we're doing is blah, 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 and we're going to photocopy that keep it kevin's going to have a copy of it okay and the, that information is going to go to 211 then we can reach out to you then one of our firefighters can come out to your house and see if you're all right, mm -hmm. see if you need anything, or somebody with the shelter, somebody, mm -hmm. we're going to try to get out to check on you yeah. kind of thing. And it's, it's small town thinking, yeah. but if it's looked at as, as a big deal, yeah. it will work. You know, because if you're on oxygen, yeah. and but you get a ride from Joan, mm -hmm. Who knows somebody that she's talked about that's on oxygen? Mm -hmm. Well, that you might say, oh well, there's Henrietta, yeah. you know, for for the town of Brookfield, yeah. um, and hopefully we can get this this set up quickly, and then transfer it over to the other towns if they want to use it, kind of thing. Shoot. Was there an after action report after Irene for like? people over there in Rochester that were isolated and, and you yes, know, couldn't there, even get to them. And yes, there was. And I don't have it, but yes, there was uh, Two River. Oh, they did do they, one. They, they, I would be curious because they have all that information. I hate to, I mean, I don't feel like I could help anybody right now. Right. I, I you know. I, right. But, but I don't know how to ask them for this information. Or to well, they're suggested. they're gonna they're gonna be there, and um, oh, ne um, next yeah, week. next week. Yeah, and then I can ask and, them. And um, Sydney, yeah, is the person for this area. Okay, and okay. remind me, and okay, we'll, we'll talk to her because I would like to to act like we're organized enough that right. if something happens, right, and that that's some... what, that's what we're trying to accomplish, yeah. right? Yeah, I mean, it, it's not going to happen overnight, but. I'm pretty sure if next week a major incident happened, I think we could handle it. Yeah. You know, and we'll be like the Crazy. militia, you know, yeah. scurrying this way and that way, and we won't be formed like the regular army, but yeah. we'll be we'll be able to do something positive. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's better to, right. to to work at doing something positive than sit there and say, well, I don't know what's happening. Right. You know, and that doesn't help your community. Yeah. So, you know, that's that's pretty much where that that lies in, in my thought process so we have another meeting next week we no do. no there's a oh no so she can fill you in on that. well I got an email from is I guess from two rivers right and it's because I'm here at the senior center and Bugby and Thompson senior center are meeting with a whole group of people mm -hmm. in White River I think it is yeah. next week and the they asked me if I wanted to talk, and I was like, I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so, so I sent them to him, to Rich. And so that's what I'm doing next week, to go down, and they're talking about Green Mountain Power is there to talk about long-term power outages and what would we do. Right. So right. I'll have some idea, and of course you will. Yeah. There, there's a long list of people. Yeah. Very long class. So yeah, so that's outside of the shelter, but it it does deal with. But it's the same thing we have to deal shelter. with, right? Mm -hmm. I know so. where I live. I live at the townhouses. When the power goes out, our heat goes out. Right. Mm -hmm. Correct. So I'm kind of thinking. Within 24 hours, you're going to be cold. Yeah. Right. Really yeah. 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 So, yeah. what do we do? Right. Exactly. Um, so, Scott said he was going to try to show up. I don't think he's he's going to. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know what he's up to. He's he's tied up. <laughs> Probably till midnight. Oh. Um, 
Let's see. Well, I don't know if you advertise this meeting tonight. On front page for them like I have in the past. Yeah, okay. Um, and, you know, the, I want to continue with putting that on front page for them, but I want the, the people that have said that they'll volunteer to try to... Like, I, I wasn't planning to do this meeting mm -hmm. today. Okay, yeah, that's right. Remember? I said because it's in, in the holidays yeah. and uh -huh. um, the folks that aren't here. And she said she wanted to learn, she wanted to talk right. about transportation. <laughs> so, so, you know, she got us yeah. to be here and we're here. <laughs> <laughs> Which is, that, yeah, that is yeah. a thing, though. Because Which is fine. So, so trans, transportation is going to be, you know, within the, um, the local emergency management plan. And, you know, the busing companies um, are going to be the, the drive behind it. You know, to move massive people, um, to go get people from a, a situation, they're going to be on the phone with two one one or nine one one. You know, so getting them here might be in the back of a cruiser, might be a fine citizen saying, "Oh yeah, I can get you down there," or on on their own accord yeah. of of getting to a shelter that's open that they can go to um, but it's you know paying attention to what your neighbors are doing what what's happening around you kind of thing mm -hmm. and just being talking about it right yeah you know not the doom and gloom aspect but hey working on this you know this warm and cooling shelter at, at one location and an overnight shelter for another location and uh, looking for volunteers and asking people hey you come check it out you know, mm -hmm. this, yeah. this is what, what we're up to that's going to be the, the driving the driving force behind it. I would like to see 20 volunteers, at least, knowing that only five of them are going to be active. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, because life happens. You know, people get busy. Um, right. I had, you got the bigger pool well, that you have. The, yeah. Well, I, I, get I, had, I had a crazy day today, and I maybe wouldn't be here mm -hmm. if I was just a right. person. But, yeah. Holding the meeting, yeah. <laughs> so I have to be here. <laughs> so it's um, you know, things happen, and I, yeah. and I get it, and I respect yeah. that kind of thing. Um, did you get a chance to write any times that you think would work? For me, I'm, it's any time. Any time, because you're here. Well, well, and that's you know, I'm at the school, so if this, you know, if there's an emergency, the school's not going to be. Right. Going oh, on, so I right. Right. They're going to shut down. Would be much more. Available. Right. That's that's what I think, and that that was my original um, um, target was teachers. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know. Right. Because. What else are they going to be doing? <laughs> they're going to be home going. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, why not help out? Right. Help out your community. Yeah. Go to work anyways and not get paid for it. But well, you get paid for it. So it's kind of. But we were volunteer. That means yeah. you know. Um, but why not? But I didn't get much response from the staff members that I have their phone numbers because oh. I have the old um, phone list. Mm -hmm. I don't have an updated one. How old? Twenty. Whenever I left. Oh, so I know. There's nobody left. It's all different people. Twenty twenty. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's a di very different very list. Different. Yeah. Yeah. So, very different. Yes. So. Very different. That's sort of a, a, a hard thing for me. Yeah. Um, cool. So what else? So well, you, I would think the local people would see it in front porch forum. I mean, mm -hmm. right. you know, any of the teachers that are nearby would see that. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So maybe I'd have Lou put up a little bit more, yeah. a little more information. Yeah. Does anybody um, have a contact with radio station? Because yeah. I know when the, uh, when there's been yeah the the local one here, uh, yeah. Aaron. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, yeah. I can. I think I have his number actually in my phone right now. <laughs> um, but yeah, because that's what we go to. It's sure. like you know, to know right away what's mm -hmm. going on. Yeah, yeah. yeah radio. That's what people do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's mm -hmm. around. Yeah, the local radio station. Yeah, right. I think I think his name is Aaron. He has um, said not a problem. Just send him a text, and he'll he'll put it out. Yeah. yeah. Of something, and interrupt his broadcast. However, they interrupt their broadcast. Right. Um, so that was that was pretty cool that he was willing willing to do that. Uh, I'm trying to 
find his, his information. Could be in my other book. I have so many books, it's pathetic. Ah. Yeah, so the Red Cross have direct, direct con uh, contact with um, the people for this area kind of thing. Um, like Lindsay is the key person for, for the Randolph, Brookfield, Braintree area. Um, VTC, obviously, Emil have his personal information, White River Ambulance, uh, Matt, and I don't think you were here. So Matt, uh, the White River Ambulance will stage a, an ambulance to any shelter. Mm. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. You know, stage it as in, instead of returning back to the yeah. right yeah. department. Sure. But once once a call comes out, you know, they're right. out, and they'll, but they'll come back when they're, they're freed up. Uh, the MRC, uh, Medical Response Corps, I've, I've got a strong con contact with them, with one of the head um, volunteers. Uh, Chandler, obviously, the food shelves, multiple. Um, Aaron, yep, with North, North Country. Um, obviously, Elaine, you know, I have his personal information. Well, you mm -hmm. do, but not many people have his personal right. house and cell phone number yeah. Yeah. Uh, to be able to reach out to him. Green Mountain Power uh, with Tina. Um, I have her information. In fact, I text her and, and um, or emailed her about sending me, and they're busy still because of the last sure. power outages. Yeah. Um, a more detailed map of their customer base. So I know which towns are right. drawing off of them. And when there's an outage, who actually is affected. Um, yeah. Yeah. So that's, that's sort of a, a good thing to yeah. get when I get it mm -hmm. kind of thing. Well, another thing to keep in mind, Lane, they have the automatic calling for everyone in the district. Yeah, the robo. Right. The yeah. Robo yeah, that's what I'm referring to. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And so that. So you can isolate one town or all towns. Yeah. Or, yeah. or whatever. Of, Just of to let people know school. what's going on. Yeah. Yeah. The the school aspect. Um, so with the other thing I wanted to touch base with is to open up to say yeah let's open a shelter. The things that I'm looking at is, you know, what is the temperature right now? What is the temperature going to be in the next six hours, 12 hours? Um, this last storm that, that we we had some outages a second here. We had Braintree out some, Brookfield out some. Um, we had uh, Chelsea out some, you know, so watching the numbers through the Green Mountain site, of this many incidents, these many customers affected right. yeah. in each town, and I physically write those down, and then I, you know, obviously on the weather station, track from six to six p.m., six a.m. to six p.m. or whatever they'll they'll give me the temperature, what it's mm -hmm. supposed to be. So, <clears throat> watching the the temperature, watching the um, what's happening weather-wise what's happening, how fast they're, they're responding, reaching out to Tina saying, hey, you know, what does this look like to you? Right. Um, for time, putting power back on. You know, all of these relationships and sure. all of these things are happening is what I'm looking at to say, okay, guys, it looks like we might want to think about opening. Right. You know, and, and that might be a, that might be a eight o'clock in the morning call. Or, you know, sent out. Right. Hey, we're, we're thinking about it. We're teasing with it. Yeah. And then 10 o'clock rolls around. Well, it's looking pretty pretty grim out there. Get ready. Yeah. And then at 1 saying, okay, so we're going to drop it down a little bit. Just be sort of kind of ready. Mm -hmm. Or, yeah, let's do yeah. it. Let's open up for 3 o'clock. Yeah. And let's get the word out. Right. And, you know, sort of keeping everybody in the, in the loop and being transparent. You know, I, I don't care about who shows up to a shelter. You know, I don't care what town they're from. Sure. I, I care about people. Right. You know, the, I mean, if they're showing up, they need help. Yeah. Um, something that, that we're going to be going to on the 6th with the senior center stuff, um, when I believe they're going to be talking about, is going to be the large-scale power outage that allegedly is south of us. Um, and they're, they're looking at couple couple five days or 30 days of power being out kind of thing and my huge concern is um, that 
you know, looking at the information that they gave to me, hey, hey. looking at the information that I, that I have is that line right here yeah. is the power outage line. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's above us, but you have larger. Below us. It's below us. Yeah. 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 It's below us. And, uh, you know, if the power goes out for a long period of time, I... Massachusetts is going to be out as well. Mm. Um, where are these people going to go? They're going to flock northbound. Right. They're going to go to Barry, Berlin. Um, and so we're going to have higher volume people on the road, mm -hmm. higher volume of people looking for refuge kind of thing. And, you know, depends on where we are, can we help? Mm -hmm. Yeah, whoops. And if, if it happened tomorrow, no, we're, we're, we can't help because we don't have the resources yet. But that's, that's what we're working on, getting all of those resources. You mentioned the robo calls to yeah. the school system. Yeah. What about that Vermont alert? VT alert, yeah. yes. VT that's, alert. That yeah. can be, okay, so VT alert. Um, Glenn is the contact person for VT Alert, and he is available to emergency manager directors and select board members. Um, so I can call the watch officer, any EMD can call the watch officer, and they can, on landlines, yep. like I can call right now and say, put a, an alert out for blah, uh -huh. as long as it's legit, obviously. Yeah. Um, and he can, he or she can hit all the landlines in the town of Brookfield. And Wayne Warner can call and put a call out for Randolph. And all the landlines in Randolph will, will get hit. O'Toole can put one out for Brookfield. I'm Braintree. Yeah. And all those landlines will be hit. Or if they're already signed out. For that. Well, yeah. that, that would get this, a lot of seniors. I think. Yeah, Even that's, if they didn't pick right. up. Well, that's what I'm thinking now. Right. Um, that was a question that somebody asked me about Meals on Wheels. And I thought, you know, I've never really told anybody to sign up for this. Yeah, VT, VT Alert is yeah. easy to. Now, but it's easy if you have a computer. Correct, or, or a smartphone. Yeah. And just a regular okay. telephone. A regular push button phone. Well, you're going to have be a way somebody's going to have to tell you call this number right. so that you can sign up for these alerts. Right. right. Mm -hmm. And have, have we put is that in the paper? Is it in the Herald that says that? Probably maybe, not. Maybe. I've, I've maybe. got I've got brochures. The state gives out free brochures. Yep. There's some at the were at the school. I don't, I don't know if there still are anymore. Yeah. Um, maybe on the bulletin. Board. Uh, maybe on the bulletin board. As far as the Herald, we have a credit. <laughs> Oh, good. Maybe we, we, <laughs> so, we'll, we'll look at using that credit if, yeah. if that's something that the select board will go for. Yeah. I'm so sure they will. The, the robocall for the school for um, Braintree can reach 174 people. For Brookfield, is 146 people. For Randolph, it's 100 and, uh, 1,208 people for those towns at that call. Yeah, that's, the call. Call. that's the school call. That's the school call. VTC, I mean, VT Alert, uh -huh. if you're already signed up like I am for pretty much every town in mm -hmm. Orange County, so I get alerts all the time about silly stuff, and I'm like, oh, that's, or, oh. <laughs> that's interesting. Um, but if you're signed up for it, your, your email is going to get hit, your cell phone is going to get hit, your work phone is going to get hit if that's what you have signed up. Uh -huh. Right. Kind of thing. Um, and we have been encouraging people to do that in the emergency management mm -hmm. world, period. Mm -hmm. And where I was going is, I'm terrible with computers. April does a lot of the stuff for me mm -hmm. because I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. um, I was doing great with that Chrome. <laughs> I was finally getting that yeah. down. That was, that was, I love that thing. Um, but if I can go on there myself mm -hmm. and do it, I think a lot of the seniors could do it if they had. The well, somebody the has to tell them, right? right. <laughs> because right. I'll, I'll try to get some brochures. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, yeah. I'll try to get some brochures. Yeah. And maybe that's the other thing we have to talk to about at the at the meeting next week. 
Yeah, about is, is how getting some of that, that information people. sent yeah. over to you. If you can get me a brochure, then maybe we can, like I said, put something together. Yeah, the state gives them away by cases. Okay. Oh. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, so the, the VT alert stuff is, is the, the best way to go. I'm actually mm. signed up for the whole state. Oh, wow. And oh, well, you <coughs> lots of. <laughs> I know, but actually, believe it or not, not a lot. Mm. I've noticed though there's a lot of accidents on Route yes. 91. Yeah. Yes, yeah. a lot of accidents in Windsor County. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So that's that's pretty much where we are. I mean, we have 15 minutes and then we're at the hour mark. Uh, not that we have to fill that up. So I have some bad news. Oh, no, tell me. Today's so, been a dinger. Yeah, I know. <laughs> um, White River said they can't afford to do a decrease or okay. freebie. Right. Now, on the flip side of that, which I haven't reached out to them yet, Kinney Hike Insurance mm -hmm. has, um, they're teaching people up to a certain amount CPR for free. But you have to have Kinney Hike Insurance, oh. contractor's insurance. So I got the person's name. So I'm going to reach out to them and say, hey, could you? So that's my next step. So at minimum, yeah. um, Sally uh, sent me this, and she said that uh, these are heart savers. So there's a CPR AED and a CPR right. AED first aid. Right. But <clears throat> to get the hands on, you have to have. Right. You know, so she said maybe she could get somebody to volunteer to do to it. Do that. Yeah. I'm also going to call, I, I didn't have time today, it's been so crazy, I'm getting ready for an audit. Hmm. Um, I'm, I'm going to talk to Northfield as well. Yeah, yeah see, that's what I said. Oh, yeah. yeah. I was trying to remember exactly what I said. So who did the actual testing? Uh, that was through the Sheriff's Department. Okay. And I forget the person's name that did the, the class. You know, there was just a class locally in Williamstown. Oh, Stephanie. And I asked, I asked um, if they would let us know about yeah. it, and they didn't. So. Okay. Uh, the other thing is the school does. They do. They do. They have somebody come in once or twice a year, so everybody is um, up to date. Up to date. Yeah. And they could tell you the last time I went, which was last year, mm -hmm. uh, he was fabulous. Yeah. And um, I, so that's, I know he's done it a number of times for the okay. school districts. So. Cool. A lot of times they... Yeah, if you can reach out to Amy mm -hmm. and give her that, that information. Yeah, a lot I'll of times they now. have uh, limits of how many people, people that they want in a class. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So um, that could be a problem, too. Right. But let me... Stephanie... Yeah. Oh, White River. Yeah. Duh. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that, that would be cool. If that could happen. At least for a handful of people that wanted to, yeah. to take it. Yeah. Kind of thing. Um, now, I'm surprised. Does Randolph, the town of Randolph, offer the town employees anything? I thought I've heard maybe highway. Really? I was, I was, I was blown away with the city of Lebanon. Lebanon. Demands even for the DPW to do ICS 100, 200, and 300. Oh. CPR. Any one of those people digging the ditch or in the office can be incident commanders. They have the training. That's great. Which is, it's and good. that's New Hampshire, obviously. Right. And it's I was good just to like, have ICS wow. at least, you know, the 100. Yeah. So that. You know it's incident. Yeah. Um, yeah. What, what does that mean? It's it's Infinite. how to set up everything that needs oh. to be set up during large incidents oh. in mm. town. And how you how you speak over radios and stuff mm -hmm. like that. I'm curious if they got that through their insurance. If their insurance was like they have the instructors or... trained in it to do it. Mm -hmm. The state of Vermont does it for free. Great. You could you could take the classes. Then I will. Then you know it, yeah. it's 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 available. It, but they don't offer them like every month or whatever. Mm -hmm. You have to, you know, go go do it. And some of it was remote at one point. Okay. 
So I have another thing. Yeah. Um, the state of Vermont has decided that anybody who has received Stop the Bleed kit mm -hmm. must be trained. Correct. So I got an email today about setting something up um, at least seven people. Okay. I'll but, retake it. But the thing is, they also, I mean, does somebody have a projector? Because they don't. They want a projector. Oh, I've got a access to projector. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because, okay. I mean, I can bring my laptop. They, that's, yeah. So we just have to decide when we want to go. Okay. Well, let's let's look at that after the first of the year. Yes. Because, um, <laughs> you know, like I said earlier that, you know, I, I wasn't interested in doing a meeting today. And then we were encouraged by somebody that's not here to, to have a meeting because it's during the holidays. Yeah. And I know bad stuff can happen. But, you know, everybody's busy doing stuff. And, and you, like I said in the past, you got to look out for you sure. kind yeah. of thing and to stress yourself out over this. Yeah. And plus everything happening. And I just left work. So. Oh. Right. Um. <laughs> I threw everything in my file cabinet, my secure file cabinet. I said, I'll deal with it tomorrow. <laughs> right. So, I I don't have really anything more to more to say. Scott was possibly going to show up. If he's busy, um, and I figured that would happen because yeah. it's a one. You don't happen to have it, the, the, the phone number there for him. Do you? Yeah, I did. His personal and police number. Um, somebody would like to talk to him. Okay, so they what, need to call. I would what, yeah, like I'm the not... office. Oh, okay. If you have the office number. Yeah. 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 No, I wouldn't. So want did to you talk, so. did you write down what you can think you could volunteer for? Yeah, timing wise. Yeah, it's it's flexible. Okay. So long as I have my assistant or someone at the office. Okay. If it's work hours. Okay. Otherwise, then I live in uh, Hospital Hill. Oh yeah. So. Okay. Well, thank you for coming. Yeah. You're, I think the only solid Randolph the end. <laughs> well, myself. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I will continue. Awesome. Thanks for having me. That's it. All right. See ya. All right. I think that concludes. Yeah. Okay.